Okay, hey YouTube, I am back, and as promised, this is my very, very first rant video. Um, let's start off by saying, <clears throat> excuse me, by just, I hate, hate, hate Kmart. Um, especially the one in my area, only because it's so hood and ratchet and just, just dumb. Um, so, today, starting off today, I was already pissed because I couldn't print my Kellogg's coupons. But that's neither here nor there. Everybody said that they're not, you know, that they're able to print the coupons and that maybe it's just me and it could be a fluke. Whatever the case may be, at this point, I don't care. So, my first stop off was actually to Walmart. And, lo and behold, I get through Walmart. They have everything that I want, the Norelco, the Pop-Tarts, you know, everything except for the twin packs of the Windex, excuse me. But... You know, for the most part, everything that I really went to get was there. Mainly the Pop-Tarts and the Lysol. Now, here's where the problem lies. First of all, I was shuffled through several different lines before even being able to be rung up. Because I'm constantly being told to go to another register. Go to another register. Go to another register. I don't know why, but you know, I figured, okay, whatever. Finally make my way to register number one. God knows why this is even a register because the aisle is actually blocked off and closed off by chum carts. So I get there and I put everything up that's regular priced um, and I hold off on the price match items. I did notice that at the store they did not have up the price match policy as many people have reported that it Walmart has removed them from the registers where they once sat on the little light with the number they are no longer there but I was fully prepared with the um, policy up on my phone I did not have the the printout policy but I had it you know on my phone sitting on the Walmart corporate page so I'm explaining to the young lady that first off the pop tarts are in the ad at Walgreens, three for five dollars. When you break that down, that's what a dollar sixty six, dollar sixty seven a piece, and that's what I tell her. What she proceeds to do is actually put them in three for five dollars. So it shows up. She did this twice because I bought eight boxes, so it showed up three dollars, three dollars, and then a dollar sixty six, a dollar sixty six. But I didn't think nothing of it because, I mean, I don't know. So, we move on to the Lysol. And the Lysol, I told her, is two for three dollars. But instead, she brings up two of the four that I have as three dollars a piece and keeps it moving. So, we go through the process of the coupons. Now, mind you, she looks at my ten dollar Norelco coupon and is just like... That doesn't look right. And I'm like, well, it's an electric shaver. She's like, but it's in a little box. I said, yes, because it's the to-go box, but it's, you know, an electric razor nonetheless. And she says, okay. So she scans it. She's like, wait, wait, it needs approval. And I said, yes, it's just asking you to verify that the coupon matches the item and that, you know, it's actually a $10 coupon. Some coupons require them to enter in the amount. That was one of them. Fine, so we get through the process of scanning all of my coupons, but three of the, um, well, four, yeah, three or four of the, the eight Pop-Tart coupons did not go through. Nor did, did one of the Lysol coupons and the, um, Windex coupons. So, I'm like, well, I don't know why. I'm trying to explain to her. She's like, well, I can't do anything. I'm like, well, ma'am, I've bought eight boxes. I have eight coupons. I'm going to need you to figure out what to do. And she refused to manually put them in. And I tried to explain to her how this should be done. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Somebody's watching TV over on the side there, and it seemed pretty loud. Um... <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so, I explained to her, well, maybe the coupon isn't going through because of the way you manually entered in the prices. Of course, the Lysol coupons, um, only one would go through because, according to the computer, I only bought two and not four items. So, I asked, she's like, well, I need to speak to a manager. I got to go get a manager. And she, she proceeds to call, cut her light on, not call, 
but cut a light on for a manager. Now, mind you, all the registers have a phone for them to call for call for a manager, but that is not what she did. So, I'm there. It's 10 minutes, and we're still waiting. She proceeds to go from cashier to cashier. They're telling her one thing. I'm telling her something different. They're telling her the wrong thing, saying that she can't put them in, that it needs an override, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, what the hell did I get myself into? Needless to say, the lay- the customer service railway manager comes over and is like, well, you have to, you can't do this and do that. And I'm like, well, sir, what I'm telling you is the way she put them yeah. in. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm making another video. Can you hold on for one moment? I'll pick you up as soon as I'm finished making the video. Um, I proceed to tell him the way she put them in won't allow for the coupon. And she, he, she's steadily trying to say, well, no, you have to put it in three for you know, whatever, and two for whatever, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, sir. She has to manually price adjust each item. Because as it is, she's only scanning a certain amount of them and not all of them. So even your stock numbers are going to be off. Blah, 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 blah. And he's like, yes, yes, yes. So then she's, defi- you know, telling him she doesn't want to do it and blah, 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 blah. And she's looking at me. Needless to say, I'm like, well, void out the whole goddamn transaction. I'll go to another register. And she's like, well, you can't do that. And I'm like, lady, we can even do it your way or we can do it my way. That's going to involve security and a district manager. <laughs> Excuse me for a moment. Okay. Excuse me. You got it? Okay, so the, the the manager guy, he's like, no, no, no. And she's telling him that he needs to stay in there. He's like, I can't stay in here. This is what you need to do. So she finally relents to the situation and goes ahead and does what I asked her to do, what the manager has told her to do, in the way that it needs to be done. So that total came up to like $15 or some change afterwards. Every single coupon I had went through. No problem, because she did not do it right the first time. Okay, fine, I'm cool. We moving through. We going up to Target, which was right around the corner. And Target had no problems with Target except for the fact that one of my coupons didn't go through. I saw it big as day not go through on the screen, but then I saw her put the coupon in the the drawer. And then my total came to $6 or some change. I knew it was off, but in my head, I'm just like, I'll just look at the receipt. Naja's sick, and she's a little whiny, and blah, 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 blah. So once I get, excuse me, once I get out of line, I go ahead, send her over with her dad to the cafe to get her some chocolate milk. That seemed to assuage her for about a 10-minute interval. Um, And went ahead and looked at my receipt. Sure enough, I did not, sure enough, the coupon did not come off. So I went back over to the young lady. And let her know. Now, I'm thinking she's going to give me back my coupon. No. She did something on the computer, scanned the receipt, scanned the coupon, and gave me back $3 in cash. So, apparently, Target's computers are so sophisticated that they can go through, scan the receipt for the missed coupon, and give you back the money in cash. Best thing I have ever saw. So, you know, people that complain about Target's cash registers and whatnot, I feel like if you know, I, part of me is on is on the fence about it. Like, oh, I hate the the registers because when I'm, you know when you're trying to do the deal and it doesn't work out the way you want it to work out. Of course, you're like, I hate these damn registers and da 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 da. But in situations like a missed coupon to get back the three dollars in cash, best deal I've ever seen. So, on out the store we go. To that ratchet ass Kmart. Anyway, I haven't said it much, but you know, I'll say it this go around. I live in the, you know, the DMV. Anybody familiar with the DMV, they know Rivertown, St. Barnabas Road, that whole little shopping center there. That is the only Kmart that I go to because I had I just I prefer not to go to the the one in Clinton and the only other excuse me. Sorry about that sound. The only other Kmart that I know of, I'm looking at my daughter, caused some type of ruckus on the coffee table over there. Oh, she broke my oil warmer. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll deal with that off camera. Um. So, Oh, I, I know that you're sorry. You're going to be real sorry in a minute because you, you're going to get be in trouble and on punishment. I'm sorry. 
Please don't don't cry in my video. It's nothing to cry about right now. What's done is done. It's over. Um, sorry. So, um, Kmart in Rivertown. Mind you, it's so ratchet and crowded and hood over there. I really try. I really try not to go over there. It's nothing against that area, but you know, when you you on that Maryland D.C. border, you you get that Maryland D.C. crowd. So it all it just it started going into the store. I see this woman. Standing at the door. And I'm like, maybe she don't know where the hell she going. Or maybe she work here. I don't know. They look so ratchet in there. Some of them people that she was like, oh, they just walked in off the street. Are people that work in the Kmart. And I'm trying to figure out what she's doing. With this shopping cart full of clothes. And I get through the first set of doors. Um, which is uh, it's one, one door. One door. And it's motion activated. So, of course, it swings inward to let us in. And then you're in the middle vestibule. And then you you go through another door, and then you're in the store. Get through the second set of doors, and I'm trying to figure out why this lady isn't moving out my way. You know, she's steadily coming forward, and I'm steadily coming forward. And I'm like, what the fuck is she doing? Excuse my language. I curse. Oh, well. Get over it. Um, come to realize that as I'm moving forward, she's moving forward to get through the door before it closes. Because it does not open when you're inside the store. It only opens from the outside of the store. Come to find out, this crackhead chick, and yes, I said crackhead chick because she smelled like a whole bathtub of liquor, clothes, dirty hair all over her head. She could have fallen on her hard on her luck, but you no, know, some people that fall hard on their luck still take some type of pride in how they look in terms of crusty, dry food, booger, all that is taken care of. At least, I mean, I, I think so. She bum rushes us so hard to get through the door that she damn near pushed Naja back up into the womb. And all I can think about is, oh my God, I hope she doesn't hit Naja because I don't have bell money. All because I need some sugar and some underwear. Okay? Get through the store. And I realized she didn't walk, that lady didn't walk out the store with a cart full of clothes. So I get all the way back to the railway line because I did pre-order, you know, the, the, the stuff that I wanted online. So that it would be ready by the time I get there. Well, everybody knows that Kmart's customer service cuts, uh, railway cuts off at 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock or whatever you have you. So they have PG County police sitting on a wooden stool at the end of the line because I guess that was over and done with. The line apparently is moving so slow that people got folding chairs sitting in the line. I say, F this. I'm not doing all of that. And, you know, Naja bumped into the officer and I said, well, excuse us. I'm sorry. You know, to keep on moving. You know, this heifer had the nerve to mean mug my child. Just just evil face the three-year-old. Whoo! Evil face is the three. I'm like, oh, God. It's to take your ass in the house right now type of night. Get all the way up to the cash register. To have the, red, the 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 this young guy, the most innocent looking face you've ever seen, come at me sideways because, you know, if you have a Shop Your Way Rewards card, you hand them your card to scan your card. Or you can give them your phone number. Or if you have a smartphone, as I do, you have it on the screen. But Kmart isn't sophisticated enough to have it where they can scan the card from your phone. They have to either manually enter in the number or enter in your phone number. So yes, baby. Go ahead. Um, they they're not sophisticated. So I give him the phone number and let him know. Yes, I want to use the five dollars I have on my, you know, my card. And any of you that have a Shop Your Way Rewards card, you've been given anywhere from five to ten dollars in Shop Your Way Reward points that expire tomorrow or Monday. So go get your free stuff. Well, <clears throat> he says, oh. You've just reached the threshold for five dollars. You can't use more than five. I had five dollars and four cent. He said you can only use five dollars. I'm like, okay, why not just use it all? It doesn't make sense. He was like, cause you can't use, you know, five dollars is the minute the limit that you can use on when you don't have your card. And I'm like, well, sir, I've never had a card. I've always given my phone number and always been able to use my points. He's like, 
Uh-huh. Well, you can't do that. And I'm like, you know, it's not even worth uh-huh. arguing. If you're going to use the points, use the points. Uh-huh. Needless to say, he was just mad because that lady stole all that stuff and he had to sit there and watch it. I think I'm just over couponing and I'm done couponing. And so, the beginning of the year, when supposedly Harris Teeter will be having Super Devils on the 2nd, um, stay tuned for that video. I'll try to keep you all, you know, up on that situation. Also, check out your email. CVS um, has emailed coupons, 30% off coupons, friends and family savings. They are good for today and tomorrow only. So, get on that if you can. I'm out.